Hello friends, we're back with another key unboxing and this is a special one to make up for the time that I lost while I was away. So once again for the next couple weeks, well the next few weeks, we're going to be doing two key unboxings a week, uh, on Saturday and Sunday, and that should make up for it. I think four weeks right now. So if we do four weeks, we'll be caught up and... Uh, then we'll go back to once a week again. So today we're going to Kingwin because we haven't been there in a long time and they seem to be showing a little bit more promise. So let's see what we get from Kingwin today. We're gonna buy a 5X premium random Steam CD key pack and we're gonna pay, we're not gonna pay $9 for it, no way. We're gonna pay 650 for it. So we'll get one of these 650 ones. And I've already done that. So let's see what we ended up with. So our Steam page. First game, Neon Chrome. Lots of games with Neon in the title. I wonder if they're all related. I've never really been able to figure that out. I got a bunch of them, I just never really looked. First game though, Neon Chrome. A masterful combination of top-down shooter and endless replayability with procedurally generated levels. Blast your way through walls and enemies with guns and cybernetic abilities. Install perks from cyber chambers and upgrade your character stats after each death. Can you stop the overseer? Um, okay. Twin stick shooter, cyberpunk. Uh-oh, using copyrighted terms there, or trademark terms. All right, anyway. 14 online now, 24 peak today, 313 all-time peak. Next game, we got Siberia, which uh, was given away free a while ago. So, yay, free games. Join Kate Walker as she travels to remote locations and time periods in this timeless voyage to discover her true destiny. 39 online now, 56 peak today, 642 all time peak. And to tie right into that, the next thing we got was Siberia 2. Having searched Eastern and Western Europe for a missing heir, Kate Walker finally completed her long and arduous journey, obtaining the signature of Hans Vorlberg and closing the autom automaton factory buyout. Mission accomplished? No, I don't think so. 24 online now, 73 peak today, 1,314 peak, all-time peak. So I know this is a good series, and it's kind of a shame they gave it away because they like destroyed all the value of it, but it did get it out to more people. So I think that's more important because if you're buying games because of their value, then I think you're doing it wrong. Next game I got, The Legend of Heroes, Trails in the Sky. Hailed as one of the largest, longest, and most meticulously detailed turn-based JRPG series of all time, this first chapter in the ongoing Trail Saga sets the stage for what quickly becomes East developer Nihon Falcom's most popular and best-selling franchise in their entire 30-plus year history. I, I have to say, there are a lot of games in this series. I had no idea. Um, it doesn't show it here because there's no related, but there's a bunch of them. 213 online now, 214 peak today, 2014 all time peak. Yeah, I don't see any related, other related games, but when I was looking it up, there were a bunch. Next game, The Silent Age. Lose yourself in The Silent Age, a thrilling point and click adventure with over 7 million mobile downloads. Completely revamped and updated for PC. Next, uh, 12 online now. 25 peak today. 458 all-time peak. That's what I was looking for in the collection section, but there isn't one for Legend of Heroes. Interesting imagery in this one. I actually looked at this one for a few minutes a while back trying to decide if I wanted to get it and play it anyway Well now I own it. So anyway, how do we do? 
we went to kingquin.net we spent six dollars and fifty cents and we bought neon neon chrome 14.99 on steam 88 cents on kingquin 60 cents on g2a siberia 12.99 on steam 69 cents on kingquin 70 cents on g2a siberia 2 12.99 on steam 41 cents on kingquin 83 cents on g2a legend of heroes trails in the sky 19.99 on steam three dollars and 57 cents on kingquin two dollars and 98 cents on g2a uh next the silent age nine dollars and 99 cents on steam 52 cents on kingquin 53 cents on g2a which brings our steam total today seventy dollars and 95 cents our kingwood total would have been six dollars and seven cents and our g2a total would have been five dollars and 64 cents so as you can see if we would have bought these games on kingwood or g2a we would have spent more money than we actually spent buying the pack so i'll leave that up to you whether that's a win or a lose but we did not exceed those costs there but hey you never know the quality of the games we got may impress somebody enough to think that it was a win in my book since we had siberia 2 and siberia i i don't know i'm not going to comment but hey there we go so tune in next week for another set of key unboxings and definitely check out some of the other videos that are going up uh, i'm doing a series where i talk about different things um, changes that are coming up and things like that I'm probably going to start that this week, so it'll probably start Monday. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to have all the videos ready, but I'm, I'm trying to do a week's worth of like talking videos to to just explain well a little bit more about me. So if you're curious, definitely check them out. If you're not, meh, no big deal. Just come back next week for the key unboxings. If that's your thing, hey, more power to you. Be sure to check out the spreadsheet shared in the comment in the in the description below. If you want to see everything that we've gotten so far since January of 2017 up until August of 2017, I'll keep this updated. Uh, definitely can take a look at it. But that's all for now. Thanks for checking it out. See you guys later.